everybody, welcome to XDude's Texture Pack Reviews. Today's Texture Pack is going to be Pirates of the Caribbean. So in this Texture Pack I've set it up um, a couple of samples of the things that you'll need to be seeing. And it, well, yeah, the point of this video is to show you what this video is worth. If it's worth buying or not. I'll rate it at the end maybe. Yeah, I'll read it at the end. Right, let's get started. Oh, started snowing. So over here is some end stone. I like the texture, it's pretty cool. I'll just zoom in a little. There we go. So I'm going to scroll through slowly. Now onto the magma. Looks pretty cool. I like the decent texture. It's really good. And here's some red sand. It's golden, but it looks really cool. And there's just stone. I just put stone in the video because in some texture packs you have no idea what stone looks like and you think, why did I buy this texture pack? I think it's stone, but you're mining diorite or something. And it looks exactly like that. Maybe. Some coal. Here's a bit of lapis. Diamond. Enjoy the music too, if you can hear it. Ooh. I'll make it a little lighter. That's better. Here's redstone. Chocolate chip biscuit, I mean iron ore. Red stick, um, gold ore. Oh, I forgot to fix that. If you're trying to persuade your parents to get a texture pack and you'd like the review, just Show your parents to persuade them. And here's just a weird looking block. It's nether quartz. So that's nether quartz all. I just thought I'd show you because in this texture pack it looks extremely weird and some other ores do in other texture packs. But these just look normal in this texture pack. So my personal favorite of these ores is the uh, chocolate, I mean, iron, <laughs> iron ore. Yeah, as, as I was saying, it looks exactly like a chocolate biscuit. So, yeah. Okay, let's go on to um, the lava and, uh, the glass and that, yes. Nope, I forgot. I forgot this in one of the practices I did, beds. Right, so the beds, I just put all the colours out because they look cool. I love the fact that they're hammocks, so I give it a really good rating there. So I'll just give you a good look at the beds, close up. Right now, I think we should look at the glass. Right. Um, I like the 
the glass, just it's a bit funny looking. <laughs> because it's got like, it, it, it's really hard to see at it, but I still like it, it looks pretty cool. Onto the plants and stuff, I'll just scroll very slowly through for you in this so, here we go. Oh, come on. Right, I'll go very slowly through the flowers so you can see them. classical door, I like it. It's got very good texture when you open and shut it. <laughs> and the iron door, it's it's come out it's a prison door, seriously, it looks really cool. And I think if you're making a fancy apartment, you probably use that one, I reckon. I'd use that one. A fancy yellow house. Fancy kind of thing. Alright guys, my personal favourite, the jungle door. So, this jungle door, I like the texture, it's really cool. If you were like building a, like sort of a, a wrecked, abandoned pirate ship or house, you could use that. And also, um, something from the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, there's this ship, Davy Jones' Davy ship. He's got doors and they look exactly like that and the wood looks like that too. It looks really cool. So onto the acacia door. Ooh. I love the acacia door, it's pretty cool. Now here's the dark oak door. I reckon my second favourite is third actually because the, the yellow door stands out. Okay, um, now on to what the wood looks like and the leaves. Let's go over to the oak first. Here we go. Oop, there's snow on top of the oak. Okay, so this one's the oak. Closer. I love the detail on the oak. The leaves are pretty sure. Oh, that was a bit quick. I love the birch wood, that's really cool. The leaves are my favorite. The birch leaves are my favorite. Yeah, that one's acacia. Yeah, that's acacia. I love it. I love the acacia with it. Looks cool. Into the jungle wood. Dark oak wood. There we 
we go. Right now onto the boats. You may have, you may have seen them behind there. They look really piratey, I think. Well, I don't think I know. There's oak, spruce, birch, jungle, oak, spruce, birch, jungle, acacia, and dark oak. Also, the music is great if you can hear it. It's awesome. Okay, so the lava. Um, just, I I thought I ought to show you what the lava looks like in some in here in this texture pack because in some other texture packs I'm going to be doing the lava doesn't look like lava. It looks like water, sort of, but it's not blue. So these are just the heads, skeleton head. With a skeleton skull. A zombie head. <coughs> I don't know why I put that in there. You know, you know what a steep head looks like. That's a creeper head, if, in case you were wondering, because creepers look weird in this texture. <coughs> weird in this texture pack. And here's the Ender Dragon head. Jaws. <laughs> that was supposed to be water, but we'll get to that in a minute. Excuse me. Right, so here's the furniture. Like the chest and so there's a chest. And a chest. Crafting table. Furnace. There's a brewing stand. There's the enchantment table. Now these aren't these two aren't really furniture, but beacon. Uh, conduit. Here's a, oh, why does it keep going to thunder? Sorry guys, here we go. Here's a jukebox now. And an anvil. And last one, an end portal frame. Right, so now onto the armor. I'll just show you what gear it is. So there's leather and wood. That's what the armor looks like on the armor stand. There's chainmail armor and a stone sword. The stone sword, I don't know why, but it's a very small dagger. I don't know why. It just looks tiny. It's ridiculously tiny in survival mode. One thing I don't like about survival mode is that you, when you're character's hungry you can't see your hunger like you can't see what if it's empty but you can see if it's full but you sort of can't tell right sorry sorry guys so this is uh, iron stuff iron gear golden gear Oh, there's diamond gear, sorry. 
And here's just a turtle shell helmet and a trident. So here's all the things there are. So I'll just cycle through them. So this is an axe. I did them all. I did them all iron because they all look the same. Except just different colours like diamonds, blue, gold, yellow, you know what I mean. Shovel. A hoe. Bow, shears, flint and steel, and a fishing rod. Right, um, what else? Oh, yes, there's two more to go before I run to the last section. So I'll just give you a good look at each one. I'll crouch it in a sec. Right. So this is what all the food looks like in this texture pack. So I'll just... So that's all the food done. Um, we're up to the paintings now. Whoa, that's a bit too close. Sheesh. I love this painting, it's cool. But I'll very slowly go through the paintings. There's an anchor, some candles, a bombshell, fancy, yeah, fancy metal work by the looks, rope, and tools. Like I like how that's one to post with Jack Sparrow. Is, I think that's Jack Sparrow. It looks like him. I don't know what that is, but that looks pretty cool. Right, there's a, I love this one, it's a huge pirate flag. Ooh. Okay. So I'll just go through some paint. Here's um, a steering wheel. Some royal looking curtains. Very good. The guy at the harbour looks like with a ship in the background. I love that one. Oh, and my favourite. The palm tree on the beach day. <laughs> Very cool. It's my favourite because it's got my favourite colour in it. And also, it's just, it's nice, peaceful painting. Love that. Oh. Okay. I think paintings are done. We're up to the next section. I'll just get there. <sighs> okay. Here we are. Right, this is my very, very favourite animal. A rabbit. But it's Barbosa's monkey. That's why it's a they they put a skin on the rabbit to look like a little monkey with a cap on, and it just it reminds me of Barbosa's monkey. Well, it is Barbosa's monkey. It's so cute. Oh, really want an egg? Here's a chicken. I love the chicken. It's classical looking. I want to 
the mushroom. I like the mushrooms and nice horns, mate. Same with you, Cal. Yeah. Yeah, I just love mm. the I love the cast so cool. Now here's a sheep. I like I like how that's a funny goat. I mean whoa. Sorry, I like how that's a goat that's funny. Mm. And a pig. Pig is classical. <laughs> and here's a grumpy looking villager. I just I just thought I'd put a villager in because some they they're all different I know but um just this one. <laughs> oh, that fly. Oh baby chickens. Where do those baby chickens come from? Right, here's a turtle. Um in the movie, um this I think it's Gibbs tells us someone's story about Captain Jack Sparrow. He escapes an island by thrusting sea turtles together and putting planks on them. And I just love how they look exactly like what he did. Like, that's just how... I like how they imagine that and just trying to texture... Texture? Texture. To make it look funny like that. It's cool. And just the water. I, I was... Th there were supposed to be sea creatures in these tanks, but they despawned. Except for the turtle. And also some coral and kelp. I'll just pause so I can have it. So we can. Yeah, I'll just crouch here for a minute. And then we'll fill it. That, that turtle is very fast. Here we go. Here's some yellow coral. Okay. Well, guys. It has. It's about time to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And hopefully I'll see you later. Bye.